for three seconds. Well, I'll try it again. Dude, get back on her. Hey guys, Gearful here. Today we've got a couple of Baku mules. We're gonna test them on a trail that's likely too technical for an e-bike, especially when loaded down with moderate weight. But we're gonna take a look at these and see how much versatility they, uh, they offer the hunter, the backcountry hunter specifically, and, uh, and we'll go from there. All right, so quick recap on what we've already done. We've been here for about 30 minutes. We wanted to get a feel. Like I, get, like I said, this is the Baku mule. We've got 20 pounds of sand in each of the side bags. They're rated at 22 pounds each. We did have a failure on one side due to a shock of a significant rock. Brady and his Dyneema Cordage ultimately saved the day. So we took this up, uh, some Red Rock Trail that's again likely too technical for an e-bike. This bike did get it done with a combined 65 pounds of weight in addition to myself at 170 pounds. Uh, quite surprising, a lot of torque, you gotta pay attention, but there is a reward to this e-bike and we're gonna explore it further seeing just how much weight it can carry up this technical trail. And then we're gonna to default to the trailer and then try and simulate packing out an animal of uh, say an elk size down a more moderate trail and seeing just how good and how useful it is there as well. All right, so moving on from the, the familiarizing exercise, we're gonna throw another 40 pound sandbag on the rear rack. We're gonna hit that same trail. I think it's gonna push it to the limit. So let's see what it'll do. Whoa. She's a little heavy, Brady. Here she goes. That was about max for this thing. <laughs> That's pretty dang steep for a hundred pounds. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> the camera doesn't show it, but. I'm freaking sweating. Do you think that's truly the limit? I think it's right on the threshold of the limit. Again, pretty steep. Some of it is uh, restricted by the rider's abilities, that being me. You definitely want to keep some weight on the front tire when you're on the inclines that are technical because this thing has enough torque and the weight is enough after the center of gravity that it wants to throw your, rear, your front wheel up in the air. But I'd rather ride this up this hill than walk it, especially with weight. So if the trail were any easier, it'd be that much better. But even as hard as the trail is, the bike's good to go. How was that? <laughs> a little sketch. You gotta pay attention on the hairpin turns of a switchback, but I mean, there's no denying. We got 100 pounds of myself down that pretty steep hill a whole lot faster than if we'd been on foot. All right, we're moving off into the trailer segment of today's trials. Right now we've got the single rear wheel. We've got it loaded with 80 pounds. It's rated for 90. The load on the main bike remains the same. 100 pounds of cargo, 170 pounds for myself. We're gonna be on a, uh, an easier trail than that technical switchback uh, segment that we already went on. Uh, but we're gonna see how it pulls and we're gonna see if, you know, if we were carrying meat out of the back country, is this a viable solution for most people? So here we go. Could be a catastrophe. <laughs> you can definitely feel a uh, lateral pull behind you <laughs> with this much weight. On the turns, it's noticeably more tippy just because of the weight, just like it was when we were trialing it without weight. Yeah. But I mean, shoot, we're rolling down the hill with 170 pounds of cargo. <laughs> oh, it's got momentum. 
shoot. Pay good attention, Brady. Good save, good save. <laughs> What'd you think? Doable, a little bit more technical than I'd like with a trailer this weighted. But I mean, we're rolling. All right, we're getting up to some rocks and some technicalities. Let's see how she'll do. a lot of weight behind this thing. That's all she's got. Power? Yeah. You think you can make it up that hill if you hit it faster? Dude, if you hit one bump with the front wheel, yeah. it's got so much torque, it'll kind of raise it and throw it off center. Uh oh. And then you're in a, you're in a fight. <laughs> All right, so we just finished ripping around on some local single track switchbacks. We put the Baku mule in the trailer you see here to the test. We ultimately hit 185 pounds of cargo in addition to my 170 pound self. We used this on more technical trail than this was probably designed for, and it actually continued to perform quite well. What we came to find in conclusion is that if you're gonna carry excessive weight, whatever that is to you, right now we've got 80 pounds on this. Again, with my day pack, it hit about 100, 105 pounds on the bike frame itself. It handled it really well. If the trail is uh, permissive and you can use a trailer, by all means, I would bring it. It just, it just increases the flexibility that you're gonna have with concern to uh, payload capacity and then shortening the iterations it's gonna take you to get in and out of the backcountry. I will say that if there's any question on the trail as far as the technical aspect of the trail and whether or not it'll support the trailer, default to not taking the trailer. What we come to found out or what we came to find is that when you got a lot of weight and you get to a point on that single track type trail and you hit a point of failure, it is a son of a gun to get this thing lined back out with one dude, 185 pounds of cargo and yourself and get going again, especially if there's an incline. But it really is a game changer. You can really use these bikes for just about anything from backcountry venturing to commuting in all honesty. If you're interested in a Baku bike such as this mule, check it out at gearful.com. If you got any questions, find us there. Ask them freely. We'll do everything we can to help you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.